the way I would generally sort of learn to do stuff is if I want to do something, I will find some example code that does something and then run the example code and then I'll modify it for my own purposes. So um, if you imagine data which has got lots of numeric columns, so you've got people's height and they've got their weight and they've got their sort of heart rate and things like that, you might want to plot everything against everything. Yeah? So what you have to do in Excel would be to pick these two columns and do a scatter plot, then these two columns and do a scatter plot, and these two columns and do a scatter plot. R's got a function called pairs which does all that for you. Um, but sort of, yeah, it takes a bit of understanding. So remember the question mark, we could do question mark pairs. And um, up sort of comes um, you know, all the help file. At the bottom of the help file are some examples. So if we copy the first example, that's using some built-in data, which is called the iris data. All the examples will just generally just work. So we can sort of paste that in there. And then what that's done is, I'll, I'll just show you the iris data here. Um, the iris data is some measurements on some flowers. Um, some, it's quite a famous data set where someone just took a whole load of um, flowers and irises, in fact, and just measured all different bits of them. So we've got measurements on, um, uh, let's see how big it was. It was um, it's measurements on um, 150 flowers. And then this sort of pairs plot, <coughs> this, this, this code here, basically plots each variable against each other thing. So this is quite useful for exploring some sort of data, because and, and basically it's coloured it by the different species. So that plot there shows the sepal length on the y-axis against the sepal width on the x-axis with the different kind of species, different kind of colours. You know, this one here, this, this plot here shows the petal width there against the petal length. So it's quite a nice way of exploring data. I and mean, if you've got um, um, sort, of, you know, sort of measurements on sort of people, there's one project I saw where it's almost doing measurements on skulls, you can kind of measure, you can see how different bits of the skulls relate or not. So say, for example, petal length and sepal length clearly have some kind of quite sort of linear relationship as one goes up, the other goes up, whereas sepal width and sepal length are sort of a bit all over the place, you know, between the different species. Within e each species, they're a bit sort of more sort of similar. Um, but I found, you know, I worked out how to do that by just using the help file. And then what I would do is I would go back and then I would, if I had some of my own data, I would replace sort of the, um, the data bit of this kind of thing with my sort of my stuff.